Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about Reolink NVR Remote Access. As you can see, I have my NVR. It's connected to a monitor. You see different cameras, internal camera, external cameras. It's basically working and it's also connected to my network. What I have to do to connect to my network is just connect the cable from the LAN port to my router or to my switch, which is connected to my router anyway. And then I can have remote access to the NVR. Internally here, and also from the internet. And I also have here a cell phone with the Reolink app. That's another way you can remotely connect to your NVR. So basically you just install the Reolink app and you can have access to the cameras or to the NVRs, right? I have another video talking about the Reolink app specifically. Right now let's talk about the NVR. So here I have the interface connected to a monitor, as you can see, I can use the mouse and select the cameras, access the camera, uh, the NVR menu, and things like that. So it's basically working pretty fine here. And I need to have an IP for my NVR. So it has an IP on the network and I'm good to go. So it's working here, it's connected to the internet. And then what I have to do is to use a software. Okay, in this case, I'm going to use the real link client app that can have remote access to my NVR using this software, okay? So let me just show you this software here on my computer. Okay, so this is the real link client software. So basically what I can have here is the NVR or cameras directly connected to the software and I can see all of them, right? Right now I have only the cameras, as you can see here, real link Duo 2, Duo 1, and real link wireless camera. Okay, I have uh, the cameras connected to my network and the software can see the cameras, not the NVR yet. Okay, so what I have to do here is just come to device and add the new device. And then what I have to do is just insert the UID of the device that I can find here on the label. There is a QR code and also a UID device that I can read here and just input there on the interface. And then I can add the new device. So it doesn't matter if I'm locally connected to the network, let's say I'm remotely connected, for example, as long as I have the UID, I can input the UID here, click the add button and have my real link uh, client software connecting to my NVR. Even if I'm not at home, I'm remote connected. Okay, so it's pretty simple. And there are also the option to scan your network so you can see internally here a network that happens when you are locally connected okay let me just show how it works let me just remove this phone from here i'm not gonna use the phone right now and as you can see i have my connection here with the wireless network and i'm internally connected to my network this max 5g is my internal network if i change here to a different network let's say xfinity now I'm gonna change to an external network. I'm just simulating here that I'm not at home anymore, connecting to an external network to see what happens, right? So now I'm connected to the Xfinity. It's an external network. Let me just refresh here the internal LAN. And I'm, as you can see, it cannot find the cameras internally. Why? Because right now my computer and my NVR, they are in, in different networks. Okay, the NVR is in the internal network directly connected to my router, but my computer is connected to an external Wi-Fi. It's just like I'm the, in the remote hotel or something like that, right? I'm not here anymore with my computer. That's the idea, but it's still, you can see that the cameras are working. Okay, so I have here my internal camera. It's connected, connected, connected. You see the status here. I'm connecting different cameras and it's working, okay? I just need to click, wait for a while and it loads and it's still connected even if I'm not locally on my network. So this is a remote connection. So basically the Reolink client can remote connect to my devices. In VR, cameras, it doesn't matter. Let me just show you here how it works. Right now I'm connecting directly to the cameras. So I'm not connecting to the NVR. To connect to the NVR, I just need to come here, click this button to add a device. I cannot find directly on my network anymore because I'm in the different network. Let's say I'm remote and not here. Then what I have to do is just use 
the UID. So here I have the UID for the NVR. Okay, I, I get this UID here on the on the label, or I can also log in, in the into the NVR the, in the interface and get the UID. And what I have to do is just copy and paste there, or just type it there, right? Let me just copy and paste here. And now I can add my NVR. And remember that I'm doing this remotely. Okay, now he asks me for the password. Let me just type here the password. Uh, here we go. And I click login, wait for it to connect. It's connecting right now. And it's done, it's connected, okay? As you can see here, the NVR is connected. So it's pretty simple. As you can see, now I'm connecting to the NVR, not to the cameras directly anymore. Of course, I can connect the cameras as well, but here I'm connecting to the NVR using the software. And from the NVR, I can see the different cameras. Camera number one, camera number two, okay, and the other cameras. So pretty simple, it's working, but you need to understand that uh, you need to use the UID to remote connect to NVR because you're not in the local network. That's what I did here. So real link's pretty good with this UID. What I'm basically doing is use the real link cloud to have the information shared between the NVR and your real link app, right? Your real link software. So basically it connects through the cloud to check the UID and then you can have remote access no matter where you are. So it's pretty good, works like that. And if you try to use the web browser as well, I, I see in the real link website or in the real link channel, they say you can use web browser also to connect to your NVR remotely, but they're talking about the local connection, okay? When you're at home on the same network, right? If you want to remotely connect using your web browser, you need to do a port forwarding, which is a different process, right? And you can use just an application, just a real link camera and the real link client software. That's much easier to add as long as you have the UID, okay? So it's working right now. If you want to do it in your NVR, it's pretty simple like this, okay? And of course, you need to have your account created with the real link first. Don't forget to do that. Go there, create a real link, a real link account, then you can add your camera. And of course, here I already have my cameras working. I set up the camera first before I start this video, okay? So I hope you liked this video. That's all for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up and your comments. See you in the next one.